Hey guys, what's going on? Damien here. If this is your first time stopping by the YouTube channel, then welcome. I am so glad that you're here. I make videos about creative stuff, so photography, a little video advice and, and that sort of thing. And also just videos about figuring out YouTube because I am still trying to get a handle on this thing. It's kind of hard, I ain't gonna lie. But um, today I wanted to, to share with you guys a, a recent sit down that I had with my good friend Wesley. So, so here's a little backstory. As a kid growing up, I, I found journalism to be like such a fascinating thing. Just the, I love the idea that you can meet strangers and help to, to tell their story in, in cool and creative ways. I just thought that when I get big, this is what I want to do. Um, obviously that never happened, but I find myself now with a YouTube channel and a camera and I figure, you know, why not actually give this thing a shot and, and try to fulfill one of my childhood dreams. So I would like this to be the first episode in a series where I get to sit and have conversations with fellow creatives. So in this video, we get a chance to talk to my good friend, Wesley. So Wesley is actually in that small percent of creatives who are able to make their art their full time job. He works in advertising and he's a fantastic filmmaker. You guys should definitely check him out. I'll be sure to leave all of his social media links down in the description. So Wesley was here in Toronto for a short while and we decided to explore the city together, grab our cameras, and then we sat down and actually had a conversation. So I am just gonna shut up now and give you guys a chance to hear from my good friend, Wesley. I don't think there's one creative person out there, whether they've been doing it for 10 or 20 years, that isn't scared, shitless, every time they start a new project, concerned as to whether it'll be good enough or somebody will pay for it. And that's creative work. The first time I ever picked up a camera was when I was in school for my undergrad and I had electives. They essentially told me that I could choose to do something of interest while fulfilling my degree. And from there, a really expensive hobby started. The weird thing about a camera is that you get this little screen, this lens, that often narrows the focus, broadens the focus, and you pull it out and you point it at a person, a car, a building, a tree, and suddenly you get this tunnel vision where you're asked to decide what's important. What do you actually want to see? What do you want to show people? And I think what becomes so difficult about holding a camera and being creative is deciding what that is. What do I actually want to show people? And what is it in this frame that's most important? So deciding what you want to shoot, and oftentimes the project that you want to make, is probably where it gets the most confusing, because I think most people are littered with ideas. It's very rare that you get one that you actually want to commit your time to, and that you can actually see a storyline associated with. The creative world is not one where historically people have thought of it as something that would be a job that you would make a living out of. We've had movies for over a century and the irony is that 
we watch them and they take us away from the real world and they inspire us in ways that we didn't think we could be before somehow you could capture something on a device and share it with the world. And even over a hundred years, for some reason, it is still the scariest thing to think that artistically you can make a living. And yet our entire human history, since the beginning of time, has been record kept through art. We don't have any other way of recording our history than through the art that we have. It could be our architecture, it could be engravings on caves, on buildings, it could be monuments. And it, it is baffling to think that it's still so scary to take that leap into a creative world and not think that it has financial value, that somehow I can actually make a living out of it. The only advice that I have is to make yourself feel a little bit scared. Give it a shot every single day because I think it's scary no matter how old you are, no matter how good you are, to take that leap and actually think that somebody wants to value your work and pay for it. But I promise you the minute that you're able to tell yourself that it's good, that it has value, somebody will see it. Try to get out of your comfort zone and do it. It just takes one. It just takes one person to see the value in your work and pay you for it. For you to have two, three, four, one day five. Who knows? I don't know where my camera will take me, but I know that every day I put it in my hand and I go for a walk that I'm trying to see what I can learn from it. And most of the time that happens to be about the world around me. So I play it by ear and hope that whenever I commit to using it, not for the outcome, but for the experience, that something good will come of it, whatever it is. It's usually not what I expect. That's a good thing. I'm Wesley, I'm a videographer, I work in advertising, and I shoot on Sony cameras.